So in this lesson, we are going to talk about the properties of equality, which is uh, the set of properties that we use to solve equations. Um, and they're not for simplifying, they're for solving equations. There are things that you can do to equations, there are ways equations relate to each other uh, that maintain the truth value of the equal. Because when you're given an equation, you're told that two expressions are equal, and you've got to maintain the equal uh, throughout the entire process. So the first three here, reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, really aren't used for solving equations. These are more used for things like proof in Algebra 2. The reflexive says, very simply, that A equals A. And we don't use that when we solve equations. Symmetric says that if A equals B, then B equals A. And you can use a symmetric property to rearrange the sides of the equation. So if you have, like if you have to have the unknown on the left side of the equation, but it's on the right side, then you can just swap it using the symmetric property. And we don't use transitive very much at all. It says if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Right, so we don't use this very much in Algebra 1. You use this a lot in geometry, but not so much in Algebra 1. The ones we're focusing in on are these two, and their little cousins, subtraction and addition. What the addition property of equality says is that I can add the same quantity to both sides of the equation, and the equation is still equal. And what multiplication's uh, property of equality says, it says that I can multiply both sides of an equation by something and the equal, it'll stay, stay equal, as long as it's not zero. Don't multiply both sides of an equation by zero, because that gives you nothing but zero. All right, and I said there are two cousins, there's subtraction and division. In reality, they're just these five properties of equality, but in Algebra 1, we say that there are four that we use, these two and their, their buddies. All right, so first let's talk about what the addition property of equality says. We're going to call it APO because I don't want to keep writing addition property of equality, so APO. Um, it says that if I'm given some equation, like where A equals B, I can add the same thing to both sides of the equation and it's still equal. So I can add the same quantity to both sides. Um, and it makes sense, it's staying balanced. I'm adding a 5 to one side, I have to add the 5 to the other side to maintain the balance of the equal. So that's what APO says. Now, uh, subtraction has a, a version of the property of equality. And we're going to call this one SPO. SPO. And it says, if A equals B, then a minus c equals b minus c. And it says I can take away the same quantity from both sides of the equation and it's still going to be equal. Um, and then I have the multiplication property of equality, which we're going to call mpo. So mpo says that if I have if a equals b, then ac equals bc. So I can multiply both sides of the equation by the same quantity and it's going to maintain its equivalence. Now I have to be careful, I have to actually multiply the entire side of the equation. So if there are multiple terms on one side of the equation, I have to use parentheses. And the last one is the division property of equality, which we're going to call depot. And what depot says is that if I have A equals B, then A over C equals b over c. And the reason why we write the division with the vinculum as opposed to with the division symbol, the obelisk, is because we need to emphasize that you're dividing the entire side of the equation by the same number. So if you have more than one term on one side of an equation, you have to divide the entire side out. So it's easy just to show that with the vinculum. All right? So these are the four properties of equality that we're going to use to solve equations. APO, SPO, MPO and DPO for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And um, what, which one you use depends on what the equation gives you. The whole point of solving an equation is to undo whatever has been done to x. So if something has been subtracted from x, then you're going to add. If something has been divided, then you're going to multiply. So you want to use the, the inverse operations, the operation that undoes. And in the next lesson, we'll actually see how you use these properties and what to be careful of uh, when solving an equation.